Um, but it does. So I started when I was, well, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a murky area because my dad was the good coach. Um, um, so it, it's a, it's not like one moment I went on court. It, it's kind of my go down to the club. He's the coach. Mum takes me down. I mess about the squash ball. I get on a court, wrap me on. So yeah, I mean, I was, I was probably on a squash court. I was minimum, probably less than two. But yeah, I'm not playing at two. I'm not training. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always, I was alive to the game at that very, very young age because of what my family did. Um, I probably remember playing matches, playing in games and stuff when I was six and little club tournaments. And players, I mean, I grew up sort of watching uh, Gan Shukan, um, Gamerson Power, Peter, Peter Nichol, Susan Devoy was a great, great inspiration with her, with her backhand drop. Obviously Jonah, when I could get the old videos, and obviously knowing Jonah, uh, tremendous character at sport, learned, learned a lot. And I remember him having I mean, hits with me when I was 10 years old and things, and uh, I've treasured that forever, you know. So those, those people, are tremendous, tremendous inspiration. And in yeah, I mean, I uh, started, well, I loved it at school. I was uh, introduced to it by my parents. Uh, that's how you sort of, you, you go to the theater as a kid. So, um, loved being in school plays. Obviously, always been a bit of a show off. Uh, the, and you know, all aspects of you know performing and all that sort of thing. Um, I guess a lot of people kind of got or not. And then it was maybe when I was injured um, back in 2014 on my hip surgery. I was had a bit of time on my hands. I did a few things. A little bit of acting. I did an acting course and more. Just went to the local theatre group near where I lived. Uh, just even just not really with an intention to act, but just to get involved in something I loved them. I've always gone to the theatre every time I go to the other or come on London and I mean, go see something. And then I, I just ended up getting put in a play and uh, found out that the schedule worked around the squash and then that was it. Then I was just uh, hooked. And, just, and then I've never, never really stopped. Every few months there's a play or I just get on to release the next and yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, it was, yeah, I mean, it was great. I mean, it was in front of about 20 people in a little village hall. Uh, but I've just loved. It. I just got an absolute resound. It was. I think. I think the thing is, we do something so intensely like this for so many years. We have so much repetition every day, doing this a lot of the same things. I mean, I love squash. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I love the sport it was, it was so much. But you need something else. And uh, I had other things in my life. This was just like, oh yeah, this is really what I love. We love doing. Um, and, and uh, yeah, it's, yeah, like I say, some people don't have that. I've got no intention, just think it'd be the worst thing in the world. But I've always quite enjoyed in a, in a strange way of getting up in, in front of people and, and and speaking or playing or whatever it is. So um, I, I was gone, yeah, but I absolutely loved the buzz. So um, was uh, Jake uh, Oldshaw, who runs Untied Artists, just a theatre, the professional theatre maker. A massive squash bow got to know about my love of theatre and acting um, and contacted, got in touch through Zena Woolridge. Um, so yeah, we, we then struck up a relationship. He had an idea about this play, which was based on the history of the game. Talking about Jahangir and Jonah and um, getting school kids around Birmingham involved. And it was in connection with Commonwealth Games. He got funding. We got the go ahead and it was, it was absolutely fantastic. And obviously this bringing the two things together, you know, so uh, this was just a very, very special opportunity and I got to play myself, which was funny. I did a little, uh, did a little rap about the history of squash. And we, you know, we just had a great time and the kids, kids were fantastic to work with. Got a lot of schools uh, talking about the Commonwealth Games, talking about squash for the first time, but no, that's just brilliant, isn't it? You know, sport and theatre and the arts are just so good for kids. A lot of people find it quite strange that I do this other thing, and or not strange, but they, they're, they're quite, you know, some people are high intrigued and think it's a bit unusual, and I, and I guess it is, um, but I, I, I just think there are a lot of um, similarities, really, and, you know, the learning of, 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 the, of, of a play, you know, the after learning lines and rehearsing and, uh, and and it's very a lot of it's similar disciplines to, to, to working at squash every day and, and practicing your shots and getting up and doing it and repeating and and then the aspect of performance which gives you that buzz behind the scenes you know that those eight moments before you play a match or the first few moments you go on a stage uh, the only difference there being that you actually enjoy that feeling with the other actors 
to squash you kind of on your own a little bit. Um, but very, very many, many similarities. And I, I often think, and I say, you know, I really, really don't, don't ever want it to come from, you know, parents. And I, I think it does come from a lot of parents. You know, when I'm watching the junior scene and I've taken low, we've taken low into tournaments, it's the parents are so prominent and um, it, it's a whole area that really needs talking about a bit. I just think a lot of, I'm not judging parents. I'm not saying I'm, to, you know, I'm saying, you know, I make mistakes all the time, but I don't I don't ever want to put anything onto Logan. He, he just has to, he, you know, he obviously gets to see it because I'm, you know, I wouldn't bring him down here if he didn't want to be here, but he's, he's loving it and he loves being part of, you know, the squash club and playing the game. And there'll be a time where he probably falls out of it and he wants to go and play something else. And, and that, that, those things have got to just come from him. And But if he does play squash, I'm sure Vanessa and I would be totally, um, you know, supportive and happy for him to, you know, to, to encourage him to do it. And it's, it's, it's given us incredible likes um, and it is a great life to be a, to be a professional squash player. Um, so whether, it, um, however serious it becomes, it's just, you know, find what, what you enjoy out of it. And if that's being a professional, then go for it. If it's playing for your local team or uh, university or whatever, that, that's also, it's all brilliant. And as long as you're enjoying the game and sport, 